Here at home, there has been no credible threats to any houses of worship, but officials remain vigilant when it comes to maintaining and updating security measures for members of any faith. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Galat Malamed reports. The deadliest attack on the Jewish community in the United States. The shooting at this Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh last October uh, is what sparked everything. It was only the beginning of stepping up security at Temple Beth Zedek in Amherst. We had a threat assessment done by professionals and uh, we implemented a whole laundry list, each and every one of the suggestions. Security upgrades were done in partnership with the Buffalo Jewish Federation. The Federation is working with a number of synagogues on security and is partnered with law enforcement. Another attack on the Jewish community led to a new security measure at the temple. Armed guards for every service. So unfortunately, it was after another shooting in San Diego that we realized we needed to do that. Security training experts. Prevention is better than reaction. Say there are safety measures places of worship can take using the personnel they already have. Knowing what to look for outside of the church and as they're greeting people inside. So we utilize ushers and people who are in those positions. David DeTulio with Defense Inc. has worked with about 20 churches in Western New York. Everything from training an armed guard. Feel that sound and know what it's like so it doesn't startle them. To tying tourniquets if people are severely injured in an attack. People in the church performing first response tactics before first response even arrives. Yes, because what happens is, is uh, in the event of an active shooter, uh, police and law enforcement are going to arrive and they can't allow EMTs to come in. Adding police have to respond to the shooter first. Temple Beth Zedek just held a Stop the Bleed training session for its members. It's a shame that we have to do it. It's, it's very sad that we have to do it, but that's the world that we live in today. Gilad Malamed, 7 Eyewitness News.